Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to today's junk journal with me video. I'm just showing you here on my desk all the stuff that I have out for today's journaling session. I have some ephemera and some photos from a weekend away for our fourth wedding anniversary. I have this really cool illustrated map that I got at the shopping center, um, some receipts, some things from things that we purchased, as well as some little cutlery paper bags and stuff like that. I've also pulled out a bunch of ephemera and papers that I thought might work well with this spread. So now I'm just choosing a page in my journal and I'm looking through for anything that kind of looks like it could be like vacation or holiday or like a trip away sort of vibe to it. And so I chose this page in the middle of the signature that had all of the things that you might take to the beach. We didn't actually end up going to the beach because the weather wasn't the best. But I still felt like it had the right kind of feel to it. All these little pieces you see here are from um, the Paper Lovers, Flow Paper Lovers book and so there's a couple of envelopes that I pulled out as well as a few little tag pieces and a little paper doll that looked like a waitress to me anyway. And so I've just got those things out in case I'd like to use them and I'm just putting those envelopes together so that it's going to be really easy for me to see if I want to use them on the page. And I wanted to start out with the big map that I got at the shopping center. It caught my eye as I walked past it. I just thought it was such a cool piece. And I initially thought that it would be really cool as like a background in a journal page. But then I decided later that I didn't want to cut into it because I just thought that it was such a cool like piece of art that I didn't want to wreck it. So all I'm doing is just working out the best way to fold it. So I want to fold it in a way that it's not going to be too bulky because it is a really big piece of paper. So I'm just using my bone folder to make sure that it's creased really well. And I just folded it nice and big so that it didn't have to have as many folds. Then I'm just using this vellum see-through paper bag to keep that map in so that you can see it on the page so even though it's inside a pocket you can still see it even when you're just flicking through the journal and so I think I'm going to stick that straight down onto the page and then on the page beside it I'm just using this piece of paper that I have left over from something I got in the mail from my friend Kaylee ages ago it's just a really pretty paper that's nice and thin so I'm going to glue that down on the right side of the page and then on the other side where I want to put the map and the vellum pocket, I'm just going to use some of this wide tape to fill in that gap in between. So to stick that pocket down on the page because it's quite slippery and shiny, I'm going to use double sided tape. So I put a lot of double sided tape all around the pocket. And then I'm also going to use some staples as well just to make sure that it's really secure and not going to go anywhere. Then I'm just going to go ahead and glue that floral paper down beside it. So I'm just going to use a glue stick to stick that down and then just trim off the excess. I have this really cute little hotel ephemera piece. It's a crepe paper piece that I've been saving. And initially I thought this was something I probably was never going to really get to use because we never go away. Um, so I was really excited to be able to use it on this page and I really want to make sure I use it in the best way possible So I'm just playing around with different layout ideas Just grabbing things from my desk and just seeing what things look nice together and how they might fit on the page I have this photo here of a bunch of plants that I bought while we were away And I wanted to team that with the little tag that had the little pot plant on it So I'm just seeing if they fit together in any way, but I didn't really like the way that it looked so I ended up putting the photo on the back of this little journaling card. It's a Project Life card. And I just stitched those together and then I just trimmed off the edges because I'm not really too fond of having the round corners. So just trim that down. And then I'm thinking I could use a little plant tag as a little tuck spot and just tuck that photo in beside it. But I didn't really love how that looked. And then I was just playing around with the little hotel piece and seeing if I could create like a little corner pocket with the two pieces. And then I pulled out this little 
paper bag. This is just from some cutlery from one of the places we went to eat. And I thought that this could work well. So I really like how this turned out in the end. I used the top of it to put the little journaling card and the photo. And then I just pieced the little hotel ephemera piece and the little plant piece along the bottom. And because this pocket is so deep, I could stitch straight onto it and I could also add staples so that that journal card wasn't going to get lost inside the pocket. So you can see there I just added a couple of stitches and now I'm just going to staple that straight down onto the page as well. So I stapled around the edges so that it would have like little pockets behind it. And then I also added one staple on top of the hotel piece sort of in the middle and that's just going to prevent the journaling card from falling all the way down to the bottom. And you can see it kind of also gives me two separate tuck spots behind it, so one up the top and one down the bottom in case I want to use those. Then this little piece is from some dolls that we bought for our daughter while we were away. And I have this little photo of the dolls, so there's like a cute little baby in a carrier and a little mermaid doll, and they're so cute. And so I'm just using the tag that came on one of the dolls, and I'm just putting a little label piece inside there as well so I can journal just a little bit about those. Just fiddling around with some other pieces, trying to decide if there's anything else I want to add to this page. I like this little journaling card that has the map and on the bottom I think it says take me somewhere. And so I decided to just trim that down a little bit and piece it along the bottom of the page, just under or on top of the clear pocket. And then this other little postcard piece is also from the Sunny Days collection by Maggie Holmes or Crate Paper. And I just sewed one of our photos onto the back of that and that's going to tuck inside that little pocket behind the cutlery packet. Now moving on to the next page, I've just got this receipt from one of the dinners that we had and I'm just going to glue this straight down onto the page in a way that it folds off so it's like a little bit interactive and then those little paper doll pieces that are from the Flow Paper Lovers book. I'm going to glue on top of the top of that receipt so you'll see what I mean in a minute but it just adds almost like a little tab to the receipt so you can pull it up and down and it just adds a little bit of interest to the page and I guess that just represents um, the waitresses or the waiters at the restaurant. Then I have this other thin paper, it's like a wrapping paper um, saved from something else that I got ages ago in the mail and I'm just going to use that on top of that white paper as well on the right side just so that there's no stark white page there and then I just fold it over the excess over the top and that's going to be glued down. So I'm just gluing that straight down over the page, I'm going to fold the top bit over and then I'm just going to cut off the excess of the side. Just put a little bit of tape down the seam of the page or down the middle of the page just to prevent anything from lifting up. And then I'm playing around with those envelopes that I was talking about earlier. So this one was very, very pink and very, very bright, not something that I would usually choose to include, but I did want to include it because I felt like if, if I was ever going to use it, it would be in this spread. The guitars on the envelope reminded me of the buskers in the street. Um, from when we went out for dinner one night and so I'm going to use that on this page and just to tone it down a little bit I'm going to layer the photo of us on top and just put like a little white frame around it or it's like an off-white piece of paper so just use the back side of some of that wrapping paper that I used before it's nice and thin and it's just the right color tone and then just gluing the flap of that envelope over the edge of that little mini page just gives you a nice little fold out that has a pocket so um, you'll see in a minute or you'll kind of not really be able to see very well but I just put some double-sided tape on the envelope to seal it up to create a little pocket. Just used a glue stick to stick down the wrapping paper and then double-sided tape to stick down the photo just because it's a little bit heavier. And then I decided to slip that little 
um, piece from the dolls inside as well as some other little random bits and pieces that were from a little trip away and then I'm just decorating inside on top of that wrapping paper a little bit so just this little piece from the sunny days collection and then I've also got a little tag from some shorts that I bought they're nothing um, like significant but it's just something that I had like something tangible that I kept from the holiday and I just stapled that over the edge of the page and then I wanted to use this little mermaid piece as well this little mermaid tag because it reminded me of the mermaid doll that we got for our daughter so I was thinking about sticking that along the bottom and then I just left it for a minute and went to this vintage playing card which I ended up stapling on the first page So I came back to that mermaid piece, just fiddling around, seeing if there's anywhere that it fits. And I liked it best along the bottom of the page. So I just layered that with my glue stick and then added a couple of staples. Then I just decided to add a little bit more journaling space because I felt like it didn't have very much room to write so I just added this little vintage guest check on the back page and it fit really well on that little leftover space there so I just glued that straight down on top and that'll give me a little bit more journaling space. And you can see here I've just filled in all of my journaling so on the journal cards and anywhere that I left space to write straight on top of the pages um, and I like how that turned out and now I'm just going to go in with some stickers So I'm using a bunch of these stickers that are also from the sunny days collection A lot of them worked really well for the spread So I'm just sticking them wherever they fit and whatever sort of matches together Just repositioning a couple of stickers because I liked the way those gold photo corners looked on top of it the photo of us and just added a little sticker at the top of that paper bag just because there was a little bit of a leftover sticker from wherever it came from so I just covered that up with a new sticker put a little tiny word sticker on top just adding a few extra details with stickers And that's the finished spread so as I was flicking through the pages I came to that little tag that I had with my daughter's dolls inside it the little photo of the dolls inside the tag and I forgot to journal on top of that label piece so you'll see me fill that in in a minute as well but other than that this is the finished spread and I really like how this turned out I think that map piece is such a cool interesting piece of ephemera that's going to be really really cool to look back on in the future and yeah it just added such a cool effect to the journal instantly it was really fun to do like a travel journal almost which i very very rarely get to do so it was really fun someone asked me last time um, what pen I use I like to use the Pentel and a gel pens in different weights or different thicknesses so I've got like the 0.7 and I think I have the one one mil so I just like those pens because they're really smooth and really nice to write with so those are the pens that I use typically but yeah that's the finished spread for this week I hope you enjoyed this junk channel with me video I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.